with Cecilia Vallejos, who has been collaborating with Matthijs for quite a few years already, especially in relation to the work with FNV and the cleaners. And she will give a presentation and we'll see a short film on one of the projects they worked on together. Welcome everyone. Um, in this part of Proposition 3, I will give some context of the short film Het Museum van de Straat, the Museum of the Street, made in Herland in 2013 by Matthijs de Braune and Ron Mayer. The film will be shown after this short talk. Three keywords in relation to the film that are important to me. Um, that is stories, capital, and dramaturgy. Dramaturgy is close to the idea of design that uh, Swen suggested earlier. Uh, Het Museum van de Straat came about as an art commission um, for the Freidenkers Round, the Free Thinkers Space, a project by Jonas Stahl, for which he asked politicians throughout different parts of the Netherlands to create an artwork for a collection of critical art pieces. The Free Thinkers Space was a sort of museum with pieces made by various politicians from various ideologies. In 2013, Stahl asked Chairman Ron Mayer from Dutch Socialist Party to make a contribution to the collection. And Ron responded with a film made in collaboration with Matthijs de Braune. But Mayer and de Braune had already for some time shared an interest in uh, the format of museums as a site to present the stories of communities. The Trash Museum, what uh, you have seen uh, before, shown by Marijn and by Swen. So the Museum of the Street was Mayer and de Braune's second museum presenting stories of collective identity. This time, the stories were articulated um, with residents of the Oude Passart, a neighborhood of Herlen, which is Mayer's hometown. The Oude Passart, as many other neighborhoods in the south of the Netherlands, used it to be a neighborhood of coal miners. Here in this map, that is from 1970, you can see the exact position of Herland, all the way down south. It shows this map that decades ago, Herland uh, was a place with a working class um, consisting mainly of coal miners. But what happened was that natural gas made coal mining unprofitable around the 60s. And also, coal shipped from abroad became cheaper than the coal mined in the Dutch mines. All the mines closed down, propelling a, gra a gradual shrinking city effect. From around 1972 onwards, rising unemployment produced a different and difficult social status that began to be passed on from one generation to the next. The former working class in the suburbs of Herland transitioned to another class category, which was less represented at the national level, also disfranchised and confronted with a new set of problems, internal displacement, growing criminality within their own communities, and a lack of opportunities inside and outside of Herland. That working class once an integral and self-conscious part of Dutch economy became a sort of shadow of the withdrawal of capital. Because capital moves, communities do not always follow the pace of this move. The social group of local ex-miners turned it into something more complex than unemployed workers. They represented a tangible problem of economical and social change, losing their jobs meant losing their local culture as well their identity. The forces that played in this film that you will see in a few minutes look at the way this community is after the mines. Mayor de Braune and the residents of the Oude Passart focused on analyzing one event, the threat of the housed corporations planning to tear down their houses. 
Perhaps one of the motivations for using traditional cinematic storytelling that presents details in an accessible form was that it allows the film to address an audience that usually does not know a lot about the state of affairs in this place of the Netherlands. Interrogating a real problem was a way for Mayer to counter-narrate political discourses that disturbs communities in Harlem. It is interesting to look at the tension that it is created between these political discourses and stories that can potentially undo the dominant narratives. Hopefully this makes sense when you watch the film. Condensing stories requires a dramaturgy of details. To articulate details means to enable the legibility of a text or of an event or of a scenario for a movie. So the thing can become something in its own. This is not far from any activity dealing with the composition of this course. And it was our task for this film. To make this articulation was, an, was exciting because it challenged what we knew as artists from working inside a particular field with a particular discourse. We had to learn from the neighbors of the Aude Passar, the actors of the films, learn about their particular accents, understand how their problems were enunciated or nuanced in description, grasp their sense of place and time, it wasn't about filtering all this, but about thinking a way of transposing ideas in the words of the actual protagonist. Talking about the problem this community has was a way to bring into play that class conflict is at the heart of economy, somehow because capital moves, but people do not always move with it. Conversations on how to align the problematic past with actual hopes for the future, the possibility of doing things together, the strengths of it, or simply the need to keep on inventing how this group of residents wants to live and how they want to be looked at, uh, at by outsiders, had to be streamlined as a message. Harry C. Frins, the city poet of Herland, took over this task and made us learn even more about the dramaturgy of details. See friends walk through the Aude Passar talking about them. And this form of a speech actualizes the identity of the community. See friends' stream of thoughts stay somehow very close to the details of the conversation we had with the residents. And yet, the peculiar game of words he makes gives another chance of association of ideas, a layer of imagery on top of what the film depicts as, uh, as a film in itself. Obviously, the Museum from the, from the Street, um, by circulating in the art wall, does not solve the conflict of the Aude Passar with the housing corporation but it does frame the decision of this particular community to resist as such. To conclude, if museums are generally defined like places to house the soul of a culture, this film probably suggests the difficulty of doing this when the link of, to culture and identity is for some reason broken down. For now, I leave it here, and the rest is in between you and the Museum of the Street. Thank you. <laughs>